vital to military operations are the horse and the mule. Mechanization has by no means eliminated these valuable animals. Under certain conditions, they are indispensable. Like men, they must be protected from war gases by means of specially designed gas masks, which supply fresh, filtered air free of chemical agents. There are two types of gas masks for horses and mules. The M4 has a canister on each side, one on the left shoulder and one on the right. The M5 mask has this difference. Both canisters are on the right or off side of the horse. The weight of the canisters balances the rifle on the left or near side. When an animal is being fitted with the M4 mask for the first time, all straps must be adjusted to fit the conformation of the particular animal. Adjust the pommel straps to take most of the weight of the canister to the saddle. Leave a minimum of tension on the neck pad. Adjust the girth strap and shoulder straps so that the muzzle piece carrier rests lightly against the horse's breast, which limits the movement of the carrier and canisters and allows proper freedom of the neck and shoulders while the animal is in motion. In a gas attack, after first adjusting your own mask, unfasten the carrier flap and remove the muzzle piece. Check the hose to see that there are no twists and pull out the muzzle piece straps. Then grasping the top of the muzzle piece in the left hand and holding it on top of the nose, stretch the aperture with the right hand, pulling the mask up over the lower jaw. Then slip the muzzle piece straps under the nose band of the halter and the cheek strap of the bridle and snap them into the halter rings on both sides. The muzzle piece should not restrict the horse's nostrils. As soon as the nostrils are covered, the horse is protected. Finally, check for proper fit of the muzzle piece and make certain that there are no kinks in the hose. Snap the hose support around the throat strap of the halter. Snap the muzzle piece carrier flap to keep it closed tight against contamination but do not let it pinch the hose. If the left web strap in the carrier chokes the hose, unfasten it. In taking off the muzzle piece, unfasten the carrier flap and tuck it over the top. Then unfasten the hose support from the throat halter strap. Unsnap the muzzle piece straps pulling them free of the cheek and nose straps. Remove the muzzle piece by grasping the upper end and pulling it down from the horse's head. Do not pull the hose. Place the straps in the aperture. Fold the hose over the muzzle piece, grasp both with the right hand near the hose connection and place them in the carrier with the outlet valve on the near side and the hose on top. Fasten the center snap first, then the others. When it is not in use, place the mask in the troop storeroom. Hang it up off the floor by placing the neck strap over a peg with the carrier flap facing the wall. Remove the muzzle piece from the carrier and placing it between the two canisters with the aperture facing away from the wall, snap the pommel straps to the muzzle ring. It is often necessary to make adjustments in the mask as to size of aperture and length of hose. Such changes should be made only in extreme cases when absolutely necessary and should be supervised by an officer.
In pack battalions, it may be necessary to shorten the hoses to improve the adjustment on smaller animals. To do this, cut at the point indicated by the officer. Remove the tape and wire. Then replace the hose. Refasten the wire to make an airtight connection. For large field artillery horses, increase the length of the muzzle piece aperture by cutting on the line which is already embossed on the lower part of the aperture. In putting on the muzzle piece, grasp the top in the left hand and hook the fingers over the halter nose band. Insert the fingers of the right hand in the lower part of the aperture and stretching it, pull the muzzle piece up under the lower jaw while the left hand keeps it up on top of the nose. For very large horses, it may be necessary to cut 1 16th of an inch or more outside of the existing aperture. To ensure a clean and serviceable mask at all times, pay constant attention to the condition of the mask. In combat zones, animals are difficult to replace. Their care and protection is of the utmost military importance. Organization commanders will inspect the equipment frequently to make sure each man is giving his mount the protection it must have. Frequent drills accustom troops and animals to the use of the horse gas mask. The men are also trained to adjust the mask at night without artificial light. It is important to remember that the trooper always adjusts his own mask before putting the mask on the horse. It is necessary that animals be given frequent practice while wearing the mask. And during these drills, they should be worked at various gates for reasonable periods of time. The horse gas mask gives the animals adequate protection against chemical warfare and does not seriously reduce their military usefulness. All organizations that use animals in areas where gas attacks may occur will find the horse gas mask indispensable.